Okay, it is time to talk about vapor pressure and table H. So what is pressure? Well, pressure is force per unit area. So in terms of gases, which this is our whole unit, the pressure of a gas is the force that the gas exerts on the walls of the container. So gas particles bump into the wall and create pressure. So gas pressure, again, results from collisions with the walls of the container. So if gas particles have a big space, they're going to have less pressure because they're bumping into the container less. If they have less space, they're going to have more pressure because they're bumping into the container more often. Also, if the gas particles are at a higher temperature, they're moving faster, so they're going to bump into the container walls more often, but also with more force, which would also increase pressure. So there's a few ways to think about it. And what is vapor? Well, vapor is the gas phase. Okay, so here's an example with water. We can have liquid water and we can have water vapor. Vapor is the gas phase. All right, so what is vapor pressure? So we did what is pressure, we did what is a vapor, but what is vapor pressure then? Well, it's the force that's exerted on the walls in a closed container by the vaporized portion of the liquid. So when a liquid is in a closed container, some of the liquid is going to evaporate and be a vapor or a gas, and that gas is going to exert a pressure on the walls of the container. So when there's a lid, the gas molecules are trapped, right? They can't escape, so they're a vapor, and this vapor in the closed container creates pressure. Vapor pressure increases with temperature. So we increase the temperature, we increase the vapor pressure. You don't have to memorize this too. I'll show you table H in a little while. Okay, so the boiling point is when the vapor pressure equals the atmospheric pressure. So if I leave a glass of water out, it is going to evaporate, but it's not going to boil. It's going to boil if the vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure. So if I have a sample of water um, in a closed container and I change the pressure, I can change the temperature at which it boils because I've changed the pressure around it, okay? But in normal conditions, right, it's only going to boil when the vapor pressure equals the atmospheric pressure. Again, the difference between evaporation and boiling. A liquid can evaporate but not boil. It will only boil when the vapor pressure equals the atmospheric pressure. All right, so table H you have in your reference table, it lists the vapor pressure of four different specific liquids. 101.3 kPa, you see that dotted line that's right there? That's standard pressure. That dotted line represents the normal boiling point. So to find the normal boiling point for propanone, I look where propanone crossed this line. To find the normal boiling point for ethanol, I find where ethanol crossed this dotted line. To find the normal boiling point for water, I'd find where water crossed that line. And then I'd just go down from there, okay, to read the temperature. So what is the normal boiling point of water? Again, you look where water crosses that line, go down and read the temperature. In this case, it's 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, so again, that line in your table H, that's 101.3 kPa, which is also equal to this in terms of millimeters of mercury. But you can see that dotted line represents normal boiling point so wherever that is for each substance, that's its normal boiling point. So which compound has the lowest vapor pressure at 50 degrees Celsius? So we go from 50 degrees Celsius, go up. Well, you can see that's obviously ethanoic acid that has the lowest. At which temperature is the vapor pressure of ethanol equal to 80 kPa? So 50, I'm going up by tens here, 60, 70, this is 80. So I'm going to go across from 80 until I hit ethanol, and I'm going to go down from that point and read the temperature, which is about 73 degrees Celsius. And there you have it. 
vapor pressure and table H. I hope you learned something new today.